young man by the name of Travis Bates. Phenomenal kid, phenomenal family structure, you know, phenomenal athlete, phenomenal student. I just think he has a phenomenal story. Um, I ended up posting him probably about a month ago and just was saying I ain't understand how due to his production and him checking all the boxes that college institutions was overlooking him. Um, he ended up receiving an offer yesterday from Kansas State University, uh, another phenomenal program. And I just think his story got a lot of substance in it. And it's a great example for other high school student athletes as well as parents of high school student athletes. Um, a lot of times you can get caught up in the noise, what I like to call it, and basing your timeline on someone else's timeline or basing your um, blessings on someone else's blessings. And a lot of times when you're not receiving things that you feel like you're well deserving of, it's not mean it's not gonna happen. It just means a lot of times, in my opinion, God is seeing how much you're going to trust and believe in him. He just testing you, really. He's just seeing how much you're going to trust and believe in him or if you're going to jump ship and abandon the process. And in this case, I feel like this kid, he didn't rush the process. He trusted the process. And I just think sometimes the delayed blessings is just in your life to see how much you're going to trust and believe in the process. So um, I say all that to say this. I seen another phenomenal woman by the name of Latoya Fry who tweeted, um, a delay isn't a denial. And that's sometimes we get that confused. A delay is not a denial. So for all the high school athletes and the parents of the high school athletes, stop basing your timeline and your path on someone else's. Um, continue to the, 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 the trust in the process and not rush the process and continue to put your hard hat on every day and continue to go to work. Double salute to trial. Proud of you.